To determine soil color, basically what we're going to go in and do is take a picture of that soil. Now the problem is lighting conditions are different, cameras are different, everything's different, and if you come out late in the day, everything is going to look yellower. So what we do is we put a reference in the picture with the soil. So we basically take a picture of the soil, smooth it out, make sure it's nice, smooth, and flat, and then we're going to put either a gray card, this is a Y-Bal card, or we can use a post-it note, a yellow post-it note. Now what we're using is a 3M yellow post-it note. In the future we'll probably add some additional ones, but right now it's a 3M yellow post-it. Everybody's got a different yellow. And we can put that down next to the soil, and we want to make sure that it's at the same angle to the sun or the other light sources you've got as the soil is. So if it's tilted up, obviously, it's going to look different. Make sure that paper is flat, and make sure that you've got a few layers of paper because the paper itself is translucent. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go to my settings and make sure that I'm using the right reference. So under settings, I've got a color reference, and I want to make sure that I check, in this case, I'm going to use this yellow post-it, the 3M yellow post-it in this particular case. Once I got that, I go back to my screen and I go to soil color and I snap a photo. And again, trying to keep shadows out of that. If you find it easier, you can take it back inside, do your photos inside. We say OK and then it's going to ask us to touch the card. So it's basically asking us to tell us where is that reference? What am I looking at for the reference? And then we touch the soil. And then I hit done. And it tells me what the color is using the system that soil scientists use, which is called the Munsell system, the LAB system, and the RGB system. Now those may not mean anything to you. That's all right. We're going to be able to use that information to help determine what kind of soil you have. One thing you do want to do is make sure when you look at that, that picture in there that the color looks more or less like the color of the soil that you just took a picture of. It, it shouldn't be exact, but it should be close. If you want to, you can redo it. 